Welcome back guys. Today we are going to learn one of the Selenium Java interview question. The question would be validate the drop down options are sorted or not, right? Whether the drop down values are sorted or not using a Selenium. This is one of the validation in automation. Let us understand in a simple way. Okay, so I'll go to the website. So if you go to this website here, this is one of the drop down. So here we have some few options are there. And uh, we have uh, in this go to Wikipedia. Here also, this is the drop down. Here also, some values are there listed over here. So now let us start create the script and let's you know understand how we have to validate them. Right. So let me start here. So now I'm just navigate to the URL. Then the next step, what I need to do, I need to find the drop down. Right. So we can say uh, driver dot find element. So by dot we have to identify that particular drawdown. So I just inspect this. Here, if you inspect, so here I have a name dropdown menu. We have a uh, name is there. So now if you see, name is there, you can use the locator as a name. So by dot name, you can use the value. So now I'm just, you know, I just wanted to store this value in one of the web element. This is a web element. I'm storing this dropdown equal to this value. So now I'm importing these packages as well. So now uh, now in Selenium, we have a select classes there for handling the dropdown. So what we have to do, we need to create an object of the select class. So select, select equal to, we can give any variable name. This is a variable referral variable. We can give any variable name. Then we are using a new keyword. Then we have to add a select. So now we just import this select class using this is a selenium package we need to import this now once if you are imported you know it will be asking you this is the constructor it is asking the web element already we have you know stored the web element so you need to pass this web element over here that is drop down and so now this is the way we have to pass the value into the particular select so now using that in select class we have a get options method is there using a get option method for select. So select is this variable. If you are giving any other variable name, you can give the same variable name. So select dot, here we have a method called get option is there. So this is the get options method, right? So now this, you know, what it is going to return? It is going to return all the values from the dropdown. So this method is going to return you all the values from the dropdown. So now, I just want, maybe, you know, this is going to return you list of web element, right? So I can store this as a in list of web element only, right? So now I can say list, can give any variable name. So now I just store this, this is Java util package. Right, so now what we have done, we have a navigate to that, uh, you know, browser, we are opening the browser, navigate to the URL, and we are finding the element, finding the dropdown, right? So I'm store it in a one of the web element. So this is a drop down. This is the name I have given. I'm calling that you know select class. This is in Selenium. We have a select class is there for handling the drop down. So now we are passing the drop down over here. That is the web element we already identified and store it over here. So now with that in a select we have a get options are there. Get options what it is going to do? It is going to get all the value from the drop down and it is going to return you the list of web element, right? So now I'm storing in a list of web element, this variable I'm storing all the values. Now here, we have to create a two array list. One for the original value we are going to store, you know, this list, right? I just wanted to store all the value in a one, uh, I can say original list, right? So in this original list, I am going to store all the value, right? So now I am not sure whether this is a sorted or not. So what I'll do, I'll be creating another list that is maybe temporary list, right? I'll be creating a one more list. Here I'm going to, uh, you know, here also I'm just going to sell, uh, add all the values from the list. But here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort the value. So now in this temporary list, I am sorting the value here as it is from the website. So now 
with these two less i need to compare and we have if it is the same then what happened the list is you know uh, whatever the drop down options are sorted otherwise if it is any uh, it's not a true it's, it's going to return a false means what we, what happened this is not a drop down options are not sorted so this is what we are going to learn so now we have get all the values now we need to create a two array list so first we will create a one array list uh, that is we can say list i can say original can give any name so original list equal to new array list right so next using that loop we can retrieve the value from the list right so here only all the values are there so we can pass all the values to the original list so how we have to do that so simply what we need to do using a uh, for loop right so using a for loop so what we can do using a list we can go for each loop so this is a web element right so we can create a one variable for a web element type we can say value now here inside that i just wanted to add one by one value to the list we have created right so in this list currently it is a null i mean blank empty list now i want to add all the value from the list to here you know this original list right so now here what we have to do this original list dot we have a method called add right so here we need to say this value dot get text this is going to add all the value from this list to this original list right so now what are the values will be uh, here in a list original list if you want to know i just wanted to i can print this so now if i am printing the values uh, something like original list right so maybe you can add original value from site right so now if i run this as it is coming from that website right this is going to add over here so now it's uh, opening the browser so now it is getting all the values as it is from the website right so now here only we have a three options are there but if it is a huge option but i am not sure about what is the how it is sorted or not right the code has to return you whether this is true or false i mean whether it is a sorting or not right so now i'll be creating another list that is a temporary list right so in this temporary list what i'll do i'm going to sort the value how we have to sort the value i'll be creating list temporary list equal to i am giving a value you know i am just giving a referral variable as you are wish you can give any variable name so now here we have to give new array list so here we need to pass this original list right so now if you add a, what happen it will going to add all the value to the temporary list we get all the value from the original list and we we are going to store it in a temporary list now we have to sort the temporary list right so we can we have a method called uh and we using this so now we have a method called in collections we have a sort method is there right so collections dot sort right so here we need to pass the list so here we need to pass maybe temporary list so what this is going to do this is going to sort the array list array values are there right how many values are there it is going to sort now so even if you want to print this right so even even if you want to print before as well you can do that so now if you want to print um this is temporary list before sorting i can say this temporary list right so now 
After sorting, so I'll be adding this value. So now this is after sorting. Right, so now after sorting, we are getting this value. So now let me run this, how this is going to print, we'll see. Right, so now let me run this. One is the original list, then we have a temporary list, and temporary list we have a before sorting and after sorting as well. Right, so this is before sorting and after sorting. And this is, you know, as it is the values are there, right? So now you are not able to see whether it is correct or not. I'll go with the Wikipedia and I'll show you how the difference is. So before that, what we have to do, we need to compare. We have a two uh, list are there. One is the uh, you know original list as it is from the side. One is the temporary list after sorting. So now we have to compare whether this is uh, you know equal or not, right? How we have to compare that if temporary list right dot equals we have to go with the original list. So now if the condition is true, then we can say. Uh, draw down options are sorted. Okay, draw down options are sorted. Else, right? So if the condition is false, it is coming into the else block. So here we can say draw down options are not sorted. Okay, so now this is the way we need to compare and we need to validate. Now let me run this. This is, you know, uh, you know, only three options. So you are not able to uh, see now the drop-down options are sorted. So now we'll go to the another website. Maybe if you go to Wikipedia, if you see this drop-down, right? It is not sorted. You know, if you see over here, there is some other option. Uh, you know, A is coming, then next is the P alphabet, and again A. Some other also, because other language also listed over here. So it is not sorted properly. Okay. Now we'll see how this is going to, uh, whether it is going to validate exactly or not. We'll see. So now I'm just added a URL. So only thing is what we have to do. We are going to identify that you know drop down uh, element only. So other than code, everything is same. So now let me check the drop down locators. So we have ID is there. So you can go with the ID. So by dot ID you can use. ID value will be this one. So remaining everything is same. So let me uh, run and I'll show you how this is working. So on that website, that is only three options. So you are not able to, you know, uh, see whether this is a correct or not. But here in this Wikipedia, you could able to understand whether this is sorting or not. So now here we have getting all the values. Drop down options are not sorted. Why? Because here, you know, if you see, this is the original value. This is the original list from, uh, you know, as it is from the website. So now before sorting, as it is from that, you know, uh, first line and second lines are same only. The next one is what happened. This is a temporary list. Temporary list after sorting, right? So now here this is sorting. So this is not matching. It is comparing with this line. I mean, before sorting and after sorting, this is comparing the uh, you know two list. But now what happened? It is not correct. So that is the reason it is print you know returning as false. So if it is a false, mean else part will going to execute. Execute else part. You know drop down options are not sorted. This is the way we have to validate the drop down values. So I hope this will going to help you. And if you have any question, please add it in the comment box. I will uh, you know, come up with the next videos. Thank you.